And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And we have live action from the Cup to bring you. It's Argentinos Juniors, and they take on the Seattle Sounders. Well, I suppose at this stage in the tournament, you can dream about the final, but an awful lot of football to be played, an awful lot of hard work. Another step towards the final. I'm really looking forward to this one, Derek. And this confrontation is underway. Will he play it in? And can they exploit the space out wide? Oh, he's through here! Is it going to be? Chance maybe? the replay comes off the keeper and he's every right to ask where his defenders are they were second to react and he's in the back of the net one nil then Tajini, well read to win possession back. Might be a chance here. It's got to be. They might regret that miss. They ought to be two up. Well, they've done so much work to get one goal ahead. Two goals ahead was there on a plate, and these fluffed his lines. Ladeira in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Rui Diaz. Is this the moment? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Well, that looked to be quite dangerous, but just a fraction off. Sandoval, Coleman, excellent ball over the top, and a really good diving stop. Now the delivery, making sure nothing untoward happened, and thwarted there following the cross.
So the corner played into the box. Carlos Quintana. Oh, a tremendous block. Might really be able to trouble them here. Well, they've lost the ball. Could be a chance to break here. And foul it is then. That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tightrope. comes to absolutely nothing he's got the right idea with that pass now will they do it from here must be Paul is loose into the goalkeepers grateful grasp at the second time of asking but first time around it was a good deal more complicated no oh, it's a fabulous save initially he gets the ball in the end with great relief Rui Diaz and Lodeiro moving the ball forward with... And he's made headway! Oh, they really should have a two-goal cushion. Wow, he can't believe it, Derek. What a wonderful opportunity. You just wonder if they're going to live to regret that. Andrade. Sandoval. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. snuffing out the danger and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Lee well Derek you're right and this confrontation is up
This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final, only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name's Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Lee Dixon. It's Valencia, and they take on Stade Brestois. Well, hundreds of millions of people will be tuning into this one. Probably the biggest club game in the world. Pointed end of the tournament. Who's going to come out on top? Well, Derek, we're just about to find out. Very, very excited. This is it. The Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned Club Kings of Europe? Well, here's the initial 11 for Valencia. Jasper Simerson begins the game between the posts. Gonzalo Getch plays with Carlos Soler on the flanks. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Not a great pass. Well, he is so very gifted and dynamic, Gonzalo Getch. What do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, when I look at a player I'm playing against, the first thing I look at is how quick is he. And if he is quick, he gives it a go. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. And that is not going to count. The decision is offside, Lee. Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. Following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Played into the centre of the box. Daniel Vass. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Excellent vision. Excellent ball towards the front post. Well, punched clear. Gaia. It'll be a throw. They had to clear it. He's given us away. Soler. Urosh Bracic. Here is Vas. And Soler. Promising attack, but his timing was off. Romain Perrault. Belkebla. Perrault on the ball. Poor pass under no real pressure. Gonzalo Getch. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Condogbia. And it's a quality pass. Chance for Gamero. Not up a cul-de-sac in terms of the attack. They might be able to get in now. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Daniel Vass. Urosh Bracic. Well read to win possession back. Now he must favour the cross. He's got to score! Can they put it away? 
Well, that's the end of that for now. Really nice ball. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And he's in. Well read to ease the pressure. Valencia controlling possession immaculately, but the rest needs work. He's too slow moving the ball. There's no imagine. He's managed to get in behind. Big chance. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. There to take it away. We're getting the ball forward. Lovely ball over the top. Surely! And that signals the end of a tight, tense first half. We're still waiting, Lee, for someone or something to kickstart this Champions League final. Mm, not the best, is it? I'm thinking about my half-time cup of tea and my refreshments and my vegetarian pie, to be honest with you. Let's hope that the half-time team talk... This is it, the Champions League final 